Hello from the American Muscle Car Museum here in Melbourne, Florida. Today we brought out another one of my favorite cars, a 1970 Boss 302 Mustang. Well, in 1969, the original Boss 302 came out and Ford sold about 1,600 vehicles in total. They were actually producing it for the Trans Am Race Series. In 1970, Ford built a total of about 190,000 Mustangs. Of the 190,000 Mustangs, the three models that had the lowest production quantities were the convertible, little over 7,500 built, the Boss 302, where you had a little over 7,000 built, and then of course the ultra rare Boss 429. The Boss fame came because people said you could rev those engines to heaven. These cars, when you would get them out on the street, they would rev and they would race like you wouldn't believe. Okay, no comparison to the original 65, 66 pony cars per se. What made the Boss great? Well, you started off with a five liter V8, solid lifter, 290 horsepower with 290 foot pounds of torque. Throw on a Holley double pumper, 780 cab, and you have plenty of fuel to take care of that thirsty engine. Growing up in New England, where you have a lot of windy roads, up and down hills, this was the perfect car. In 1970, Pinelli Jones won the Trans Am Racing Series with his Boss 302 in this identical color combination of grabber orange with the black striping. This vehicle, beautiful car, has only 16,000 original miles. I'm the third original owner. I didn't find the vehicle. I actually had Kevin Manley from Kevin's Classic find the vehicle now over a dozen years ago. I told Kevin what I was looking for, an original documented low mileage Grabber Orange Boss 302. Of all the early generation Mustangs, these are probably the funnest Mustangs to drive. With the 302, you weren't weighed down with that big block engine had great handling, great acceleration, great performance. Road and track when they actually tested the vehicle, found that it had a top speed of about 137 miles per hour. Of course, you had to change your rear end accordingly. The rear ends on these came either as a 350 rear end traction lock, 391, or a 430. 430 would be ideal for drag racing, 350 of course would be better for top end speed. If you like what you see, check it out more at the AmericanMuscleCarMuseum.com. And also, if you want, follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Again, I want to thank you very much. Get out and enjoy your classic car. And I hope you enjoyed this video.